Well, this is, a, this is quite a unique gathering of musicians because uh, quite a few of these musicians are at the top of their game. They've been working for quite a while in their own field within Irish traditional music. And it's very rare that you get a combination of singers and top line melody players. It's a project which I conceived for this year's Liverpool Irish Festival. My first experiences of Irish music in Liverpool in the very early 80s around the Irish Centre on Mount Pleasant, which is no longer there, were of great sessions. It was the sessions at, uh, on, on Mount Pleasant that were so very distinctive, and of course we've kind of lost that now. people from the north of Ireland, the south of Ireland, um, you have people from Liverpool and all over the UK, there's some from London, and, um, but basically everyone has got a traditional Irish background of some kind um, and the best part of it is really um, having the mixture of everyone's um, favourite kind of um, traditions and they're bringing it together. In a way, having 14 musicians where you've got a couple of flute players, a couple of box players, a couple of violins, a couple of guitars, uh, you'd never really get that. So each of these musicians have been chosen because of their individual uh, approach, uh, their tradition. They're not all from the absolute um, core bedrock of Irish traditional music. The spontaneity of it and the, the collaboration and it, it really sums up what I really love about folk music. Everyone has something special and unique to offer and then to add it all to one big group just I think makes the whole thing really exciting. This creates a really interesting format for us to bring some very, you know, truly exceptional musicians together. It's just nice kind of bringing together all the different um, tunes from all over and kind of mash them all together. Fourteen artists, some of whom are really established and massively respected and others like me who are just kind of coming up and I've had my first album out and I'm trying to trying to build that up. Um, but then we're all on equal billing and everybody's got that attitude as well in there, which is lovely. Everyone's so open and there really aren't any egos at all. Um, well, I think a lot of us are choosing kind of um, pieces that are well, partly their favourite tunes, but also some that are kind of linked to different um, parts of where we're from. The attitude of really skilled folk musicians, like the ones who are involved in this gig, where they just want to come into a room and create something new and they haven't got that, that fear or self-consciousness, they're just almost like attached to their instruments. We decided to sort of try and do something 
that would work on a large scale in the concert hall, create some new music that was a real exchange of artists between Liverpool, Ireland, the Irish diaspora. <laughs> best to describe the IRC sessions as being uh, the music of the people of a certain area. I think there, there are very few Liverpudlians would find any of the songs strange to them because we've purposely chosen the themes which are the bedrock of the Liverpool it's sing song. But my darling 